This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Stanford Alpaca. So Stanford Alpaca is an open source instruction following language model. So what they did over here is that uh, they fine tuned this model, which is Alpaca 7B from the Llama 7 billion model on 52K instruction following demonstrations. And they claim that Alpaca behaves similarly to OpenAI's Text DaVinci 003 while being surprisingly small and easy or cheap to reproduce, which is less than $600. Okay. So, what they are saying is that instruction following models such as GPT 3.5, which is Text DaVinci 003, Chat GPT, Claude A, and Bing Chat, they are increasingly becoming powerful. Uh, most users interact with these models regularly and even use them for work. Uh, instruction following models still have many deficiencies. They can generate false information, provocate social stereotypes and produce toxic language. So it is important for the academic community to engage to solve these problems. Okay, there is no open source model, so, which is quite close to say OpenAI's Text DaVinci 003. So that is how uh, they wanted to create this instruction following language called Alpaca. Okay which is fine tuned from Meta's Llama 7 billion model. So Meta Llama is a foundational 65 billion parameter large language model. So they also have a 7 billion parameter model and this 65 billion parameter model is compared when compared to GPT 3.5, it was 175 billion parameter model. It gives uh, better results. So that is a claim here. Okay. So they have taken it and fine tuned it on instruction data set. So how did they produce this instruction data set? So what they did was that they started from 175 human written instruction output pairs from the self instruct seed set. This is a data set from this data set basically, right? Then they prompted text DaVinci 003, open AI text DaVinci 003 to generate more instructions using the seed set as in context examples. So in this way, they produced 52K instruction following examples. Okay, so here is the thing. Um, so um, this is the 175 self street instruct, uh, self instruct C tasks. One example is there. So here is an instruction, brainstorm a list of possible new year resolutions and there is an output. So this is a generate uh, example generated task using text DaVinci. Okay, brainstorm creative ideas for designing a conference room. So this is the uh, example which has been created. So they created 52K examples like this and they fine tuned Meta Llama 7 billion on this using supervised fine tuning to produce Alpaca 7 billion parameter model. Okay. Some more details of this training uh, is uh, how they generated this training set is given over here. Okay. So they use text DaVinci 003 to generate the instruction data instead of DaVinci. They have a new prompt. Uh, uh, that explicitly gave the requirement of instruction generated to text DaVinci 003. Okay. Uh, and they adopted much more aggressive batch decoding, generating 20 instruction set one, which significantly reduces the cost of data generation. Uh, they simplified data generation by discarding the difference between classification and non classification instructions. We only generated a single instance for each instruction instead of two or three instances as in the original paper. Okay. This produced an instruction following data set with 52K examples obtained at a much lesser cost. So in their preliminary uh, study, they also find this 52K generated data to be much more diverse than the original uh, data released by self-instruct uh, that particular paper. So we plot below figure uh, uh, to demonstrate the diversity of our data. The inner circle represents the root verb of the instructions and outer circle represents the direct objects. So it is like generate question, story, sentence list, rewrite a sentence, rewrite a paragraph, rewrite a statement. So these are the instructions. Create poem, create list, create story, right? Write story, write sentences. So these are some of the examples. Maybe we can quickly look at that prompt.txt to see what is that prompt which they are sending to. Okay, so this is the prompt which they are sending to OpenAI. Uh, you are asked to come up with a set of 20 diverse task instructions. Okay, these task instructions will be given to a GPT model. So this is the prompt which they have created to generate that 20 tasks. Okay, so basically data like this using OpenAI. 
on that data on that data they did supervised fine tuning okay so they also have a demo which has been released uh, we can look at the demo uh, what they say is that fine tuning a 7 billion llama model took 3 hours on 8 80 gb a100s which cost less than 100 on most cloud compute providers so 500k for less than 500k 500 dollars for uh, your uh, what you call data set generation less than 100 dollars for your uh, training of fine tuning of the model so that's how they say that it costs less than 600 to develop this particular model okay so what and all they have released uh, let's look at what they have released mm, they have released a demo the data the data data generation process the code for generating the data hyperparameters or fine tuning the model using the hugging face api okay model weights will be released in future that's what they are claiming our uh, training code our code uses the hugging face interface so once this becomes stable this code also will become better that's what they are saying over here okay and uh, let's look at the demo so they have an interactive demo so once clicked it leads to this and i can uh, i have to agree to these terms over here so it may not be safe it may produce inaccurate toxic or unethical content and reproduce harmful stereotypes it is used only for evaluation of instruction following okay but let's try it so user input and model response they are storing it uh, for abuse prevention and evaluation okay they don't store any personal information let's try it okay so first it says to tell me something about alpacas um that is their standard this thing maybe we'll change it and say tell me something about uh, let's say llamas let's see what comes up it's actually generating the response and you also have upward or downward response so this can be used them for further fine-tuning the model okay llamas are large domesticated south american hoofed mammals they are closely related to alpacas and this thing okay llamas are used as pack animals yes so it gives this details basically it has generated this text okay now let me say that uh, okay let me create a prompt for say generate an email um, to introduce to introduce Tesla Tesla to shareholders I don't know what it's going to do let's see what comes up I'm referring to Tesla company basically let's see what kind of email or something gets generated over here taking slightly longer time over here compared to the previous response okay dear Tesla should, uh, we are excited to share with you the progress of Tesla since the beginning of the year Tesla has come a long way since our first car was delivered we have made tremendous progress from expanding our vehicle line yeah quite nice but we need to fact check this particular uh, this thing because it's a generational model and then we may need to add some more text over here but this is just an um, example email okay let's see what other things we can try over here because they have given some examples mm, okay capabilities and limitations okay write an email to congratulate okay yeah i just tried another email uh, these are some of the things which are well written maybe we can change something and maybe give another try over here mm, okay okay let's say that describe, describe random forest Describe random forest algorithm. Let's see what kind of text is generated over here. Currently generating the response. It's quite fast, 11 seconds. Random forests are a type of a supervised machine learning algorithm. Okay, it works by creating an ensemble of decision trees. Majority vote. This uh, algorithm adds the layers of okay. Yeah, quite simple explanation. 
and that's them okay what happens if i give like this i'm just seeing also explain dragging let's see what happens okay bagging is an ensemble learning method used to create multiple decision trees from the same data set number of decision then what uh, helps to reduce the risk of overputing ah so you see some other content has been generated over here which is not at all related to this thing so these kind of errors are possible over here with this particular model okay but yeah up to this part it has generated properly i don't know maybe this has been taken as a not a second instruction because it's come up to here but yeah something else has been generated over here maybe i'll download this response as a feedback okay yeah so yes um, there are some limitations it can hallucinate it can have toxicity it can have stereotypes okay um, for example they have given this example of hallucination what is the capital of tanzania it says uh, dar es salaam this was the capital uh, you know up to 1974 but it is currently a different city dodoma okay uh, it can also be used to generate well written outputs that spread misinformation okay so yeah so standard limitations of large language models also apply over here okay mm, so what they have released what they say is that uh, this artifact will be useful to the community it provides a relatively lightweight model that serves as a basic uh, basis to study important deficiencies we encourage users to help us identify new kinds of failures by flagging them in the web demo that is interesting okay yeah i've talked about the assets uh, so what they have said is that this release carries some risk people can use it to create misinformation and other things but on the other side researchers can also you know research for uh, safer what you call more safer approaches right so the what they say is that the benefits for the research community outweighs the risk for uh, this particular release okay so future directions more evaluation safety understanding okay so this is about your stanford alpaca which is a fine-tuned uh, llama 7 billion model okay 7 billion parameters model uh, so you can go check out this web demo you can read this blog uh, to understand more about stanford alpaca i will be putting the link of this particular blog as well as the demo you can check it out i hope this video is useful for you see you in another video